We're going live in three, two, one, and Byron, over to you. Yes, Byron, over here. Good morning. And welcome aboard yeah. our virtual sea tour. 2020 looked really promising. I thought that year I was going to quite ready. Then what happened? 2020. Wow, 2020. <laughs> when COVID-19 hit, we had a 100% drop in sales and it could be for a long period of time. We have quite a few different ships around us, except that it's a little bit hard to spot. Sometime in April, I started to really worry. Looking at the bank account, I was just like, I don't know how long we can keep this up. Bye-bye! Hey guys, can you all talk faster? If not, I'm really going to be ready. I'm going to A lot of the schools that we've already had an agreement with to conduct tours started to be really concerned the early part of February. I started to get calls coming in. They were all like, Byron, I don't think this is going to happen. What we aim to do is to have local Singaporeans, especially the younger generation, feel a bit more passionate about Singapore. Starting a company, the experience pre-COVID is it's a bit scary, but it was a very exciting time. I received cancellation of up to about $20,000 just in one day. And that for a small company is a very significant amount of sales. It got kind of real for me. The only thought was, what are my guides going to do? I work very closely with many other guides. So a lot of them are friends. A lot of the guides depended on this continuous flow of tours and jobs that are coming in. They are freelance, right? They are not taking a fixed pay. What I needed to do was firstly to stop paying myself so that I can pay people. But at least the company can continue. So I mean, I have some savings by myself and I could still pay staff for about six to eight months. And then the government announced the job support scheme. This extended our runway a little bit. It sort of allowed me to feel like we could survive until the end of the year. When I really started to panic, right, I think it was sometime in April, where I really was looking at the company's bank account. And I'm like, I don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know firstly when tourists are going to come back. We don't know when schools are going to open up again to want to do learning journeys. And it could be for a long period of time where none of these were going to happen. I started to explore what kind of experiences were people getting in terms of travel, online experiences. So we had platforms like Airbnb with locals. But I was never convinced about online experiences because to do a tour online, you really need to be either really interested in that topic or that person has to be very entertaining. Like we can watch a movie for two hours, right? But can you really follow a person around a city for two hours? You go to the front of the shrine, you bow, One of the first few online experiences that I attended was by this Singaporean who is living in Japan. You'll find a waterfall that's over a thousand years old. And I was very intrigued. And you stand there breathing in and out. He would make us stand up and do some meditation and things like that. It was quite interesting. I really enjoyed it. I started to see a bit of possibilities. You can share your screen now, play the music, two minutes countdown, everybody get ready and to roll. Hello everybody, welcome to Singapore's first and only virtual bingo tour conducted by Monster Day Tours. Hello, 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 hello. It's not a warm day, it's actually a very frosty day, but I'm here, my name is Mark from Monster Day Tour, and I... I needed to learn how to use a gimbal for the first time. I dropped it down that whole flight of steps at Fort Canning, man. This part came out, this part came out, right? And I just glue it back, right? It works okay. 
all right? So this virtual tour will take approximately... I felt that was a really, really important component, like yeah, having a live guide on the ground. There could be things that are happening live on the ground, like how can the guide interact with people that are moving around? If you're ready, why not we ask everybody to throw a poll? And that really changes the whole experience as compared to knowing that it's a pre-recorded video. Yeah, so I really try and smile when you are oh, yes. reading the script. Yeah, yeah. So that it doesn't look like you're very intently focused on it. Yes. A lot of people question me like, what's there to know about Singapore? The truth is that locals aren't convinced that they need to learn more about Singapore. And the question that always comes back is, is it free? <laughs> it's very hard to get over the hump of having to pay for it. Are we ready? Yeah! Hello, very good afternoon boys and girls. Welcome to Little India. We would like to see you some We had certain targets uh, for August, September, October, all the way until June of next year. And I would say we're on track so far. That $20,000 that I got cancelled, we've made it back already and more. The forecasts look pretty decent. We are booked out for October, so that is actually very, very promising. Some of the common spices you never heard of. in bright colors. Now I'm gonna wrap this whole sari around you. Wow, look at how long it is. Nice. So there's always an element of interactivity in the learning. Planning for virtual tours is definitely much easier than bringing the students out. The students are in a safe environment. Even if uh, things go back to normal, I think virtual tours can still continue. You can also explore, bring them even further than Singapore. What was your favourite part of the tour? Learning the spice stuff. This virtual tour is very informative. It's going to ask many things about Little India, which I'll definitely keep a lookout for when I head to Little India the next time. You get paiste. <laughs> no, just go for it. Ah. People, people look at you. This is my thing to block my senses. <laughs> if you talk about freelance gig right now, it's really unstable, right? Uh, at least with a full-time salary, it actually gives me some kind of confidence at the end of the month. And of course, I'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye. Very good. This PSG gave us three new laptops as well as three accounts for Microsoft 365 at a subsidized rate. If we can provide the opportunity to even bring on people that have been laid off from other industries, I think that's a nice thing that we can do. I really want to convince people about the feasibility of virtual tours and that this isn't something that is only for this period. Virtual gives you so many new possibilities. Being open to learn and being open to new ideas has really helped us through this period. <laughs>